Hello, hello. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to another episode of Mondays with Marty, where I give you tips to rock your business and live your best life. Today is Monday, May 10th, Mexican Mother's Day. This is going to be sweet, short, and to the point. And the first thing I want to say, guys, is one of the things you need to do in order to succeed in in uh, network marketing and in business and in any and any endeavor that you that you take is that you got to show up. Look at me, guys. That I've got no makeup on except the lipstick, and that's it. But my consistency and my loyalty to be able to be here is really critical guys really critical so that consistency of showing up when you say you're going to show up no matter what even when you don't feel like it is critical to the success of your business your life and other areas that you want to grow guys so I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of um, Mondays with Marty. I was going to say Mujer de Éxito Unbounded because that's my podcast, right? And that drops every Friday, every Friday. Thanks for joining in. Hi, coach. <laughs> so it's like Ganoush is dropping in. So yay. Thank you. So today is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Today, guys, we're going to talk about three easy ways, three tips to grow your team with social media. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is a team effort. Growing in social media is here to stay, and it's not going away, and we need to embrace it because we need to market our business. If you're in a network marketing business, if you're in any solopreneur business, an edupreneur, an, an, an edupreneur business, it's going to be critically important. So today, I just want to give you just three tips. This is part one because I can go on forever and ever and ever and give you tips. But three tips to grow your team with social media, not fighting against social media, but with social media, guys, it's critically important that you begin to do this as a team. So as we're talking about this, I want to go over a question that gets asked to me all the time. And so the question is, is it too late for me to be able to grow a team with social media? And the answer is no, absolutely not. You see, social media is here to stay. It is the new way we're marketing. It is the new advertising. It is the marketing way. It's ever changing. And so my advice is jump on the bandwagon, embrace it, empower yourself, and empower your team to grow. This is not going to go away. It isn't going to be like, let's get started next week, or maybe it'll go away if I hide under the pillow or something. It's never going to go away, guys. So use it. Use it to grow your team. When you are part of a team, guys, and you act and grow and work as a team, not, not as different cogwheels, right? So if we have a wheel, which is what a team is, and every part of your team is a spoke in the wheel, if one of those spokes doesn't work, then the wheel won't turn properly. So we all have to act as a spoke in the big picture of the wheel. We need to learn how to be part of a team and we need to all together learn to act consciously as part of a team. That's the only way you're going to get leverage with your social media, guys. So to grow as a team member, here's the two things that I, that I want you to ask yourself first, before even anything else, before I give you any tips or anything else. Number one, does your team have goals and do you understand the team goals? 
critically important. If you don't understand your team goals, then you need to go and go to the trainings, go to the meetings and ask, what are the team goals, right? And do you know how your role, number two, do you know how your role supports the team goals? Do you know how critical it is that you are part of these spokes that are going to make the wheel turn? If you don't know, my friends, you need to find that out because how can you work in a team if you don't know the goals, guys? Yeah, especially in network marketing. Well, my goal is to rank advance. Well, that's too broad. That's too general that you've got to niche it down just like you got to know who you're selling to. You got to niche it down. What are my team goals? What is the team vision? What are we doing together? So that's critically important, guys. And how are my actions supporting the team's goals? Critically important. Once you have those down, then you can grow with social media. But that growing with social media has to be a team effort based on the team goals. By that, I mean, are you strategizing and planning your social media strategy around your products and services strategically and together? You see, um, I don't really think that we really need a whole lot of training on, you know, the basics. We already know that we have to, as your, as your, you know, uh, a network marketer, you know, you have to invite, you have to do all of those things, right? You have to, um, but the thing is, is that we now have this tool called social media that you need to know how to navigate and you need to use it, right? And that's how you're going to grow with social media. Once you have those two questions answered, then here are, and this is what I call phase one. Number one, the three tips critical basic tips. Are you using the team hashtags? Is everybody on the team using the team hashtag in every post and in every comment? Let me repeat that. Are you using the team hashtag in every single post and in every single comment that you leave? Right? Especially when you're commenting on somebody else who is not part of the team, are you commenting in that, adding that hashtag? And number two, are you planning your product and your business posts strategically together as a team? Together as a team. Now, we're all going to have our own content buckets, our pillars, but strategically, we can come together and put together an amazing posting plan that's going to help us grow. And then when you grow it, when you strategically put it together with the person, and there's always going to be one person, there's always going to be one one leader that, remember, that already has all of this. And that one leader is the one you should be connecting with. That one leader is the one you should be, um, you know, um, connecting with and saying, okay, how are we going to do this? Let's get some more team members involved. Do you have a plan? Do you have a day set out? Every week you should have a day set out where you've got an hour to two hours because the strongest team are meeting hour to two hours to plan their product and business posts strategically together. And that includes making sure, tip number three, to engage in every one of those team members' posts by commenting, by liking, and saving. In all the team's posts, you see, because then that hashtag you're using is going to grab onto the algorithm because you can follow people by hashtags. That hashtag is going to rank up and people are going to want to see what's this 
like my hashtag for my team is Team One Power One Energy. They're gonna they're gonna see what's this Team One Power One Energy thing all of, all about, and they might connect with somebody on that team. Not necessarily me, not because I created that team and I created that hashtag. Will they connect with me? No. It, if you think that that's what's going to happen, then you are what you are in what we call stinking thinking. You are in what we call we scarcity thinking, stinking thinking, scarcity thinking. Because in that hashtag, it's going to be a rainbow of people that are on the team and. Whoever is new and follows that hashtag is going to naturally connect with somebody on that team. Not necessarily me. Maybe it's somebody else. So it's critical. The big mistake I see a lot of teams not doing is not using that, that hashtag strategically in every single post and comment. Because that sends the algorithm going up. The more people that use the hashtag and comment on it, the more the algorithm hooks onto it and says, hey, there's a lot of people that are wanting to see this. So it's going to hook in there, guys. So that's number three. Let me review for you. Number one, are you using a team hashtag in every single post? Number two, are you getting together with your team and strategically planning your product and business posts strategically based on your brand? Not how I do it, not copy and paste, not uh-uh. Based on your brand, right? And number three, are you engaging and commenting, liking and saving? Notice the three things I said, commenting, liking and saving. And commenting doesn't mean just emojis. It means being true and, act, and act, actually authentic with engaging in that post, right? In every single one of those people that are on your team, it's critical that everybody does that. Now, here's, here is the kicker, guys. When the team gets together, when the team gets together and plans together the social media strategy, and you guys have been doing it for 30 to 40 days, you will find that the team is going to begin to grow and magic begins to happen. But it can't be like five days on, two days off. Five days on, two days off. No, it cannot be that. It has to be strategically 30 days. You have to commit, if you're part of that team, to 30 to 40 days nonstop, and then the magic happens. The caveat is full team commitment, not a piece of the team over here. Remember, we're all a big team. We're all a big team right? And maybe you've got a few people in your team and you're a part of that. You're part of the spokes to the wheel, but the big team is this team here. And your, your, your team, your little team, maybe three, four people is a spoke in that big wheel. You've got to make sure you're working with everybody in that big wheel, because that's going to be critically important. If you're just trying to work your team, you're the a spoke and nobody else over here is doing the same thing. What's going to happen is you're just going to, you're basically going to make that wheel not turn. You're actually going to stop it from turning. And that, my friends, is where network marketers are failing because they're still working. They're still working as a solopreneur. Now, you can be a solopreneur and work as an entrepreneur and, a, and as a teampreneur, but you can't be a solopreneur and continue to work as a solopreneur unless you want to be all the time. You're the one that's doing all the work all the time every day, right? 
So, okay, let me look and see if there's questions. Um, hmm, somebody says, hmm, okay. And so saving, yes, you've got to save the posts. And saving only happens in, in Instagram, right? And, and then, you know, and then you've got to plan it, guys. You've got to make sure to plan it. And, and really critical, what's even more critical is that you're not posting the same thing on the same day or on the same, you know, as, as on two platforms at the same time. Very important. All right, guys. So, all right. Well, that's all I have on this Mexican Mother's Day. I hope that those of you that are a madrecita, feliz día de las madres, guys. If you found value in this, I invite you to join me next week when I give part two. And remember to share this and leave some comments. And as always, I am so excited. I'm inviting you because pretty soon on June 1st, I'll be opening up the doors to a master class, a special master class on gaining more clarity, more for more focus and under an organization in your business. Guys, if you're interested, remember, drop me a comment, let me know. And as always, have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day and show up like I did because I'm committed. I got no makeup on, no eyelashes, no nada, just lippy sticky. That's it. So I hope you guys all have a great, great day and have a beautiful Mother's Day. Everybody, I love you. Namaste.